Good day everyone. I am Mary Grace de la Piesa from the third grade. Please allow me to introduce you our topic. Sheminawa Kainawo Kumagana. The short story titled Sheminawa is a story written by a Japanese author named Naoko Kumagai. The story was uploaded in the website called Banana Writers, where Asian authors upload their written works. Naoko Kumagai has a background in journalism, publicity, screenwriting, and filmmaking. She's been awarded in Canadian Film Center's Screenwriting Prize has been published in Rice Paper in Event Magazine and won a Room Magazine Non-Fiction Contest in 2014. Most recent, she was long-listed for the CPC Non-Fiction Prize. She reads absurdly and loves a good almond milk latte. She has a MFA from the University of Gold. Summary of the story. After his or her uncle had hung himself up using a barn of a rope, the persona of the story have started to see how far apart emotionally his or her father is to his own brother. Flashbacks of the stories, she or he had heard about their family, especially his or her uncle, started to pop in his or her mind, followed by non-stop questions about what might have caused Uncle Kasuya to commit such act. We have concluded that the story has appeared in the country of Japan because of the multiple mentions of Japanese names, culture, foods, and Japanese places in the story. As there are many transitions of the settings, especially in terms of the time when a particular scene had occurred, we have Tuesday morning, September 1988, and July 1989. 11 months after Kazuya's suicide. The first character of this story entitled Chiminawa is Kazuya. He is the uncle of the narrator. He is also the one who committed a suicide and left a note and find out. It's too late help. He is also the person's father, oldest brother, and is a politician in their hometown in Japan. Zero. He is the narrator's older brother whom she he talked about being tied in an oak tree by their uncle, Kazuya, because of his bad eating mother. Mother and father, they are the parents of narrator, though the mother was not mentioned that often compared to the father who is said to be not so sad about what happened about his older brother. Conflict The main conflict of the story is when the persona's uncle committed suicide. Point of view, first person's poem. Since the pronouns I and my was repeatedly used in narration in the story, we can conclude that the story was narrated through first person's point of view. The themes of the story is, the story revolves around Kazuya's suicide. The persona of the story tries to narrate the theories why his or her uncle committed such immoral act. It is an interesting story about how some family can be more unfamiliar than strangers. The story also talks about what we, what can cause someone to make immoral act, such as taking your own life. Furthermore, the story had also gave us knowledge about some of the Japanese traditions and cultures. The interpretation and evolution of the story is, in my first attempt to read the story, it is a bit confusing for me. It's like everything all over the place. But the more I read it, the more interesting and clearer it gets. The story was narrated in a way of someone tells his or his story in life. Though, it may be confusing at first. The only thing you need is to focus to get what the narrator wants to tell us. The further, the further to understand what happened with his uncle, the author gives a lot of transitions of the settings. The message and life lesson that I get in the story entitled Shiminawa is Taking your own life does not let you run away from the sins you have committed in your life. In fact, 
it will only make it worse. No matter what may happen in life, family is still family. The love you have for them is internal.